Hey guys, so as you can see, I have an office tour for you guys. Um, I do have two things I want to preface this with. The first one is this isn't the most aesthetically pleasing um, space just because a lot of my stuff I have for my old place and I didn't really feel the need to spend a few hundred extra dollars so that everything's the same color um, and then the second thing is that this is only part one because as you can see there are no printers nor cutters here um, so this isn't where we pack orders um, it's not where I produce inventory I'm lucky enough to just have a place purely for me to kind of get creative and do all of my design and admin work. Okay, so this is the entrance and I painted the walls myself a while back. It is called Pale Corn Flower and I think it is such a dreamy color. And this office has a really interesting uh, ceiling. And then I have this storage area, which just has a bunch of my suitcases and boxes. Um, in this corner, I have a light box. Um, I took the covers off because I needed a very intense light for one of my shoots. But this is the light box that I use for when I don't have natural lighting. Um, I don't use it too often anymore, just because I have really good lighting here. Let's see. Okay, it is called Lime Studio if you want it on Amazon. Then um, on both sides of this room, there is another little storage thing, which I think is really cool. I'm not gonna open it, but if I remember correctly, um, I put all of my supplies for painting the walls in there. Um, and then I have two of my suitcases because I'm leaving Vancouver on Monday to go back to school. And then here I have um, this leather chair, or I think it's full leather, sorry, from Ikea, and it's really comfortable. And on top, I just have this super fluffy blanket. I don't often have visitors, but when I do get visitors, they have nowhere else to sit, so um, I just have that little section there. And then this is my favorite part of the office. Um, so these are three Billy bookshelves from Ikea, and I did buy this new because my previous bookshelf was like a tall one and it just wouldn't fit this area. So yeah, here's an overview of the first bookshelf. Here is my everyday purse. It is from Matt and Nat and it is a um, vegan leather handbag and wallet company from uh, Toronto actually. And I just have my wallet also from Matt and Nat and my passport for some reason. Um, and then here I have two little dishes. Um, this is from the brand We um, of Indigo. And I just have, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a big jewelry person, but I just have a few things here. Um, they're not anything valuable. Um, I think this is like from H&M. Also, this is really cool. Um, this is a gift from um, my friend Helen. Her name is also Helen. And she had three of my potatoes engraved on um, silver. And I think it is just so cool. She got it for me as my 21st birthday gift. Okay, and then the other thing is that my bookshelves are really empty because half of my stuff is in Toronto and also I'm missing an entire box of my books and I still don't know where it is so um, I'm kind of just saving space here until I find it and until I bring my books from Toronto back. So here I have, um, I believe it is a case for my Faber-Castell Polychromos I took all of the pencils out, but I thought this case was just wicked cool, so I kept it. Um, I have string <laughs> for, from one of my necklaces. I have this Avengers keyring, this Victoria's Secret perfume, and then my old glasses, which I think just looks cool as decoration. And then here I have a bunch of my planners. So, oh, actually, here are three of my rewards. Um, this one's from elementary school. I was a Davison Cup winner, which I thought was such a big deal. And then those two are from um, Johnston Heights, which is my high school. And then I have some of my traveler's notebooks, some ring planners, um, and some bigger ring planners. And then underneath I have oh, my Johnston Heights yearbook. I haven't looked through that in quite a few years. Um, and then I have a lot of my ring planners and 
my lovely Emoti keychain. And I think this is my old chemistry. Yes, this is my old chemistry notebook. Oh my god. I don't put nearly as much time and effort into my notes anymore. I also have this Starbucks um, cherry blossom notebook, which I haven't used, and um, my Archer and Olive slim notebook, which that elastic I have to fix later. This is my Taylor Swift perfume area. Um, you can see I'm pretty crazy about Taylor Swift. Um, so yeah, I have two, actually three of her older perfumes, and they're actually all gifts from my brother-in-law, which is He's so nice. Um, and then this is a gift from my dad, which funny story, if I remember correctly, yes. So we have a CD player and this actually got stuck in the CD player. So I don't even have the CD anymore, but it's a very nice memory. Moving on to the second bookshelf. By the way, I didn't specifically clean my room to show you guys. So there's just like a lot of random stuff here. Um, I have some of these like things i don't know what they're called like little cool rock things and then i have some of my nail polish this is my aloe vera plant which this one is dying but the other ones are pretty healthy um and then i have this like acrylic thing of my spread this is one of my favorite photos so i just have that there i definitely want more of them because i think they're so cool to look at and then i just have um some leggings from aritzia so in the first row, I just have a bunch of my books. Again, most of them are in Toronto. Actually, not most of them, but a lot of them are in Toronto. So um, this is just a very small portion of my collection. As you can see, I'm into some nonfiction books, some history, Agatha Christie, and a lot of, um, what do I call it? Classics. And don't ask me why, I have two of the great expectations. And then I have this classic, classic piece of decoration. If you have been around in the planner community for a while, you probably most definitely recognize this. Um, I think it's a makeup holder from Target. A good friend of mine sent it to me, so yeah. And this is where I have all of my Tombow dual brush pens. Lovely colors. And actually, after I film this, I'm gonna have to pick out like half of them to take with me back to Toronto. Um, and then here I have this acrylic um, book stand thing, and I just have my Imbodi planner here because it is my pride and joy. Then moving on to the second row, I have another acrylic book stand with my Archer and Olive bullet journal. This is the one that I'm currently using. Again, when I leave on Monday, this is going to be like half empty. Um, I have two of these acrylic drawers from Michael's. These are freebies for the birthday sale. This is only a small portion of what I have. And then this is kind of like a washi tape vault. Um, I have two of them. Uh, this one just lives in my office and it's basically all of the washies that we have released. Um, yeah, I just love looking at it so much. I would say my favorite washi currently is this little chores washi. I think it is just so unique. And this one. I think, so these two came out as a set. So I think um, just this entire collection made me really happy. It was good times. Okay, and then this last section, um, I just have some paper. Whenever I paint, I just put this on the floor so it doesn't stain the floors. And then I just have some of my workout stuff there. This is the third bookshelf, which is again, really empty. I'm saving this last row for all of my art books. Um, on top, I have this like file stand thing. Um, I have, what is this? Some like instruction manuals. Um, this one's empty. Oh yeah, these are some of my older bullet journal spreads. Ooh, this is like a painting that I did back in I would say grade 11. And then I have this, which I think this is from Seattle. I'm not too sure. And I just stuck my Emoti charm on there because I thought it was cute. Here I have another disc and I have my Emoti washi stand, which I just released. And I have um, my newest washi there minus the book one. And then I'll show you. This is my first ever 
emotiwashi still unopened and yeah i don't ever plan on opening it so it just lives there all right and then i have my older purse from k spade i no longer use this just because the straps broke and that is why i got my other purse um, but i think it's still very pretty um here i have some really random books this is a japanese book about helen keller and I got it at a secondhand store and if you didn't know Japanese books, they first of all open the other way, opposite way of um, Western books and then you also read from top to bottom so yeah, whenever I want to refresh my Japanese, this is like a book that I go to. I have Black Beauty um, <laughs> which is also a discount book and then I have a dictionary. Moving on to the second one, I have this art book from James Gurney. I look up to James Gurney a lot. As the title suggests, it is about color and light. Um, and then I have my Enigma notebook, which I will taking I will be taking back with me to Toronto. Love this notebook. And then I have my Loistrum. And then this last row again is empty. Moving on to this little corner next to the shelf, I have my yoga mat for working out. And then I have this easel um, that I got several years ago. And on it, I just have my painting. Um, this is for my sister and my brother-in-law's new house. This is of Kinkakuji of Japan. And um, I'm basically done like the main thing, but I still have to paint the sides of the canvas this blue color so that when you hang it on the wall, you don't see like all of this messed up um, brush strokes. Brush strokes. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of how that turned out. And then here I have my four Emoti season, seasonal paintings, the originals. Um, I did have prints available. It is sold out now, but I will be restocking them at least once more before the end of the year. So yeah, really love that. And then here is like my first desk. Um, and I think I'm gonna close the blind so uh, it's not reflecting weird. Okay, so I have this windowsill. And if you have been watching my plan with me's from a few weeks ago or like last month, you would know that I did not have this table. So I was filming my plan with me's on this windowsill and I was like, breaking my back for it. Anyways, um, on this windowsill, I have this little shelf thing that I got from Michael's several years ago. Um, I just have a tissue box. And then there's this like pen area. I have all of my Crayola super tips, some uh, Sakura jelly rolls. These are Muji highlighters. And these are alcohol markers from Michael's, which honestly are terrible. Um, and then I have all of my Copic Chow markers, which I absolutely adore. I just have them sorted by color. And then this little area is just some random pens. Then here in this middle section, I have a bunch of my fountain pen inks. Again, this is only half of my collection. So um, once I bring my collection back from Toronto, I'm not sure it'll all fit in here. I have a Rubik's cube, um, some more pens. These are, okay, they're kind of creepy, but they are little fox charm things that I got from Japan when I lived there. I would say this is over like 15 years old, which is crazy, but I just have that there. And then here I have, I don't know, just random stuff. Tape runners, corner rounders, and all of that. And then here I have, uh, some highlighters, index cards, and this like calligraphy thing. Again, very messy. Um, and then I have this little Rascog cart, which I, again, love. I have my Keurig here, which I try not to use often. I have some tea, some 100% cacao chocolate lint, and I also have my Biscoff cookies, um, Starbucks K-cups. Don't know why this is here. This is Gal Kid Light, which is for oil painting, and it's very toxic, so I will put that back there. The second area, I have most of my oil painting supplies, um, paint thinner, again, Gal Kid, and some... Uh, this is retarder for acrylic focus, yes. Um, and then I have my actual oil paints in here, and then I have some tea bags, which... Again, organization is terrible. 
Oof. Moving down here, I have all of my acrylic paints. So the ones in the back are like the craft paints that I get from Dollar Store um, just for low stake projects. And then in the front, I have all of my uh, Liquitex Basics um, acrylic paints. And then I have some sketchbooks, watercolor books. What is this? Um, oh, yes. Shimmer paints. That's the other thing. I cannot find my watercolor palette and it's driving me insane because it's it's my pride and joy. But yeah, anyways. So this is my desk. Nothing too pleasing about it, but it is also from Ikea. And I just have some pens, fountain pens. Um, these are little Lamy cards that I keep on my desk for swatches and stuff. I have three pencil pouches. Um, this one's nearly empty, this one's pretty full, and this one's also nearly empty. Um, I usually just have some sort of like emoji pins on there. I have my Hobonichi planner, love this thing. I have my Maruman notebook and also my emoji ruler, very handy. Here I just have some Muji pens and then this is my little sticker organizer that I made like five years ago um, and these house all of my, not all of my, just part of my sticker collections from other shops. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them. And then this is just a stack of stickers and stuff that I haven't put away yet. And then here, I hope you cannot see from the back, but these are the new bean samplers that I made and I need to cut them and take photos of them. Um, and then here, I don't think I'll go through every single drawer because it's really messy. Um, I have some colored pencils, my own stickers some washi tapes. Most of these are from other shops. Um, these are accordions, again, holding stickers from other shops. And I'm kind of embarrassed now because, yeah, this is not organized at all. Oh, that's the other thing. I messed up building these drawers, so that's why this is like brown and not white. Um, I accidentally did it backwards. Anyways, I have this lamp and then I have this little plastic storage unit, which is for my old place. Matches nothing in this room, but that is okay. I'm not going to go through it because it's just, again, a lot of messy things. Um, there I have my laptop for my internship, which is now over, so I have to actually ship that back um, probably before Monday. So then I have this desk um, and on top I have one tube of each for all of my washi tapes um, just because I was taking photos. Um, I have this plush coffee cup plush from uh, my boss as my 21st birthday gift which I thought was so kind. Um, I have three orders that I need to look at because these are specialty cases. I have my favorite uh, crackers, Mary's Organic. And then let's see, I have my airpods, my Wacom drawing tablet, my mouse and my laptop, which I typically work on a very large desktop. Um, again, because like 70% of my time is spent in Toronto, I have my desktop in Toronto and I just have my laptop here. And these are all of my emoji vinyls. I still have a few areas that I need to fill up. Um, I have my mug, my pocket sketchbook. Moving on, <laughs> I have my tripod my L driver's license thing, a flat box, and yeah. And then in this corner, need I say more? Uh, these are just some really random stuff. Backpack. Oh, these are some of my old paintings. This one I'm actually really proud of. I did this in grade 12, um, but there are some yeah, ones that I don't want to look at here, and then just some other like storage stuff. So that is about it for my part one of this office tour. Um, again, I will be doing a part two where I show you all of my sticker cutting machines, printers, um, where we keep our stickers, how we pack orders, and all of that in part two. Did I already say that? I feel like it's redundant. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in Toronto.